The Phantom of the Opera is literally one of the most popular and enduring musicals of all time. But did you know that, despite being fictional, the play is inspired by real life events? Today, we'll explore those real life events that inspire this play in this special Halloween edition of History Behind the Musical. Think of me, think of me fondly when we've said goodbye. While The Phantom of the Opera is a fictional story, parts of it are inspired by some true stories and legends and real places. While most of the things in the musical didn't actually happen, many of the elements of the show are taken from real life stories and events of things that happened at a Paris opera house where the Phantom is said to live. By this of fashion. The opera house was built in the late 19th century and is considered to be one of the most beautiful opera houses in the world. But it also has a slightly dark history to it. In the Act 1 finale of Phantom of the Opera, during which a one-ton chandelier comes crashing down onto the stage, is one of the most iconic moments in the musical. In 1896, a counterweight for a chandelier fell from the ceiling of the opera house, killing one person and injuring many others. This event is thought to have inspired the famous chandelier scene in The Phantom of the Opera. While forensic investigators later said that a nearby electrical wire probably overrode and melted the steel cable, Holding the counterweight, causing its fall, in the Phantom of the Opera book and musical, the Phantom cuts the wire during the scene in order to get revenge on Christine for falling in love with Raoul instead of him. Another possible inspiration for the Phantom is the legend of a masked man who is said to actually haunt the Palais Garnier in the late 19th century. The masked man was said to be a disfigured man who lived in the opera house's Lambeth underneath the passages. There are many different stories about the masked man. Some say he was a former employee of, an, of the opera house who was disfigured in an accident. In 1873, a real fire destroyed the Paris company's old venue, the Salle de Pelletier. Ballerina died in this fire. Her fiancé, a pianist, was apparently disfigured. Legend has it that he retreated underground the Palais Garnier, the company's new venue, and lived there until he died. Others say that he was a mad scientist who lived in the opera's basement, or, according to some sources, the opera house ghost is actually a jilted old woman. <laughs> Leroux firmly believes the ghost is real. But one thing for sure, the masked man was a terrifying figure and his legend added to the mystique of the Palais Garnier and therefore added to the mystique of the Phantom himself. Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote Christine based on a real life love. While people aren't entirely convinced of who Christine is mostly based off of, we all know that it was Weber's real life romance that inspired how he'd adapt Christine's character for the musical 70 years later. When he was writing The Phantom of the Opera, Weber was married to Sarah Brighton, a classic soprano who he'd met and married after she starred in his musical Cats in the West End. We will not talk about Cats. <laughs> he wrote the role of Christine for Brightman, composing the character's songs to fit her vocal range. After she originated the role in the West End, he wanted her to continue the role on Broadway. The Actors' Equity Union refused at first. They said he should cast an American actor, and leads had to be major stars. But after a bunch of convincing, he came to a compromise with the Equity, where he'd cast an American lead in his next London production. Weber and Brighton eventually divorced, but she continues to be a huge influence on the character's role forever. The real-life inspiration behind The Phantom of the Opera makes the play even creepier when you think about it, because it reminds us that the story is not solely a work of fiction. It is based loosely on very real events and very real people. It's hard not to think about the masked man or the other real-life figures that have inspired The Phantom and his story. You can imagine The Phantom of the Opera lurking in the shadows of the opera house just waiting to strike. Also, it highlights the darker aspects of the play, such as the Phantom's violence and obsession with Christine. The Phantom is a truly terrifying character. The Phantom of the Opera is a classic horror story that has been captivating audiences for generations, at least when you really think about it. It's definitely more of a horror or a thriller. The play's real life inspiration makes it even creepier and allows you to look at, and allows you to look at it through another lens. So if you're looking for a scare this Halloween, make sure you check out The Phantom of the Opera 
because of course there's plenty of movie adaptations that you can watch. But anyway, that is some of the true events that inspired the play The Phantom of the Opera and the book as well. If you have anything to add or any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more Halloween themed content for the rest of the month and cool content further on out after that as well. If you're a fan of Broadway and a theater nerd like me, make sure you stick around. And of course, make sure you hit that like button and share with your friends who maybe didn't know that the Phantom of the Opera had real life aspects in it. That's all I've got. Make sure you follow my various social media, which will be in the description below. And um, yeah, bye.